Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate WooCommerce with QuickBooks. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at WooCommerce or WordPress.com and uh, once you're in there, you'll soon find out that uh, there's uh, no way how we can make this integration work through WooCommerce. So uh, let's choose the easiest way which is using third-party app. Let's go to automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are here at automate.io, we want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once we clicked on integrations, this pop-up window showed up and we want to go to the bottom left part and click on see all categories. Once we are in here, we should start with uh, writing down our first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's WooCommerce. Right here, we are at WooCommerce uh, at this uh, part. Now we have to pick the counterpart, which will be QuickBooks Online. Straight away, uh, we are greeted with some popular integrations that uh, Ultimate.io already made for us. Uh, but if you won't be able to find the integration that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can get to uh, create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to start with WooCommerce. As you can see, there's a couple of options. Don't go with, uh, don't go with QuickBooks yet. So let's go with the first one, Modified Product. On the other hand, on the opposite side of, uh, of this is uh, Actions on the right side. So now we want to go with QuickBooks. For example, let's stick to the first option, Add a Bill. All we have to do now is click on Try It Now button and uh, well, we are asked to register or log in to Ultimate.io account. And we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use appear.com, which is also very success, a very useful app to make this integration happen. Uh, once we are here and we created an account, let's head to create a Zap. Uh, top left corner, by the way. And now let's go to the trigger. It works basically the same way uh, as Automate, so let's start and start writing down uh, WooCommerce. Now we have to uh, find the event that we want to address. So let's go with the first one. We hit continue and now we have to sign into WooCommerce. On the second action, as you probably thought, it will be QuickBooks like this. Action event, let's stick with the first one as well. And the last thing is we also have to uh, connect to the account and we are good to go. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.